I'm absolutely honored to be here. There were so many worthy candidates for this award. I was speechless when I learned that I was chosen. I have many people to thank for my invaluable experience at Pinecrest. On our senior mission trip to Nicaragua, I had an experience that reaffirmed a lesson I've learned at Pinecrest countless times. It took place at a mass on an island that was hotter than a Georgia Fourth of July weekend. The church was a simple and beautiful place, but there was no air conditioning or ceiling fans. By the time the homily came around, everyone was dripping with sweat. The priest stood at the podium and delivered an extremely moving homily in Spanish. Now, <laughs> thanks to Senor Trevino, I understood bits and pieces of it. However, it wasn't what he said that struck me, it was how he said it. For easily 40 minutes, his voice boomed across the church. His hands were flying everywhere, and his passion for what he was preaching was obvious and inspiring. The way he disregarded the conditions to deliver his message made me want to work harder to live that message. Father Richard once told me that the best way to lead is through your example. On the wall of the high school is a similar piece of advice from St. Francis that says, preach the gospel at all times, and when necessary, use words. That's exactly how the Nicaraguan priests, along with many other people here at Pinecrest, have inspired me. My classmates, the faculty, and the families here have all set great examples for me. This took place in a classroom every day. Keeping up with Raphael, Austin, Trey, Kemper, and the rest of the class was a nearly impossible challenge. My classmates made the most of excellent academics offered here, and by challenging themselves, they challenged me. Whether it was having a philosophical debate with Harry or doing a Latin project with Josh, we all challenged each other to be at our best. The teachers set the bar high for us, not just in their expectations, but also in their example. Having teachers work like crazy to teach their class makes a student want to work hard to, to learn their class. This happened, for example, in AP Euro, probably the hardest class that I took. Because every time I lost sleep over an assignment, I knew that Coach Kane had lost twice as much sleep grading it and planning for the next one. The sports here had the same effect on me, thanks to my teammates, coaches, and the wonderful fans. For example, the kindest, most humble person you'd ever want to meet off the field, John Paul Metz, would do everything in his power to knock your head off during football practice. This was his way of setting an example and making everyone around him better. I found the same zeal in the coaches here. It makes it easy to play your heart out when the coaches love the game and their players as much as my coaches did. Another place I had outstanding examples to learn from was in the chapel. There's always been priests eager here to help me get closer to Christ and make the sacraments available every day. When my classmates take advantage of this, it motivates me to do the same. We all push each other to be our best on our recent mission trip, too. Seeing how good Danny and Christian were to the kids and how hard Mr. McCabe worked beside us made it easy to endure the heat. J.P. Metz, J.P. Martins, Orlando, Paloma, and Olivia Thank you guys for continuing this example by giving a year and serving Christ and the church with the mission course. And to my class, as Nick Herzog said to us a few nights ago, each one of you has made a positive and lasting impact on me in some way. So ultimately, while I thank you for this honor, I share this world with my fellow classmates. Thank you guys for making such great memories and a great impact on me. Finally, I want to thank the hardworking faculty and everyone else involved at Pinecrest. Thank you everyone who has ever coached me, taught me, cheered for me, learned with me, played alongside me, prayed for me, or led me to Christ in any other way. I especially want to thank you, Mom and Dad, and the rest of my family for loving and supporting me every step of the way. Thank you all and God bless.